Hello everybody, welcome to IELTS Speed Up course by Thompson School. As it was mentioned in the outline before, we will dedicate overall four classes to the listening. And today we will start the first class with you. Let's start. Today we will focus on listening part one. And in today's class, we will go through listening test format and question types that you will have in IELTS listening test. Then I will try to explain evaluation criteria, so how it's marked. Then we will go through listening part one overview and I will try to provide tips and strategies that you will find extremely useful during your preparation. Then we will go through sample question types together and I will explain you the answers. And at the end I will explain keyword technique that will be extremely helpful during our classes. So, listening test format. First of all, you should understand that you will listen to four different recordings of native English speakers and then write your answers to a series of questions. You should keep in mind that there are four of the most popular accents that are widely used in IELTS. This is British, American, Canadian and Australian. So while you are preparing for your IELTS exams, you should be familiar with these accents. Let's move to listening parts. In part one, you will hear a conversation between two people set on an everyday social context. In part two, you will listen to a monologue in an everyday social context. So it's usually about local facilities or about festivals and events. In part three, you will have conversation between up to four people set on academic topic. Usually it is discussion between professor and students. In part four, you will be given monologue on an academic subject, usually university lecture delivered by professor. Overall, you will be given 40 questions equally divided into four parts and you will hear the recording approximately 30 minutes and you will be also given 10 extra minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. There are 15 types of questions split into four parts and in part one students usually encounter form, note and table completion questions as well as short multiple choice. Let me explain how it is marked. First of all, you should understand that you will be rewarded one point for each correct answer. And you should keep in mind that each spelling and grammar mistake in your answer sheet will be penalized. You should keep in mind that your handwriting must be neat and clean. There must be no chance of ambiguity. In our speed up course, our aimed score is minimum 6.5, so you should have at least 26 correct answers in your listening part. Listening part one overview. As I said before, you will hear a dialogue between two people on an everyday social context and you should get the answers from a conversation between two people. And of course, common question types are form, note and table completion and of course, short multiple choice. You should keep in mind, this is one of the easiest parts in your IELTS listening test. And for this reason, you should have minimum nine correct answers in this part. Let's go through tips and strategies for form, note and table completion questions. You should keep in mind that in these question types, you're expected to fill the gaps in your booklet. And of course, first of all, these question types require from students to write in facts and figures such as times and dates. Moreover, you should be ready for the questions as you know what kind of information you're 
required to write. And of course, you will often hear more than one piece of information that could the gap though. So do not just write in the first time or date that you catch in the audio. Moreover, sometimes the speaker will correct their answer, meaning that the first answer mentioned by the speaker was incorrect. For example, if in your booklet you're given a question, what is the best time to meet? One of the speakers may say, hey, let's meet at 7 a.m. And the other one, sure, 7 it is. And after some time, first speaker may correct their answer. Oh, sorry, I forgot about Sarah. What about half past? So this means that you should not be ignoring the answers, but you should be also consistently taking notes. Of course, after this, you should keep in mind that you should read all the instructions carefully, paying special attention to word limits. After this, you should take a moment to understand the rest of the note, form or table. And from time to time, you should be keeping an eye on the next question as well, because sometimes students skip the answers without realizing it. So if you know the rest of the note, it will be really helpful for you to coordinate and move to the next question quickly. After this, you should be always thinking about synonyms for words that are used on your booklet, because in IELTS listening, all the words will be paraphrased. And of course, use the given information to predict the answer. You should know whether it's name, date or time. In this way, you will make your job easier. And of course, listen carefully and fill in the missing information as quick as possible. So let's go through the sample practice test. First of all, you should pay attention that it is form. And this is the instructions that say write one word and or a number, meaning that, that you can write one word and one word plus a number or simply number. So this is very important to understand instructions. And whenever it says and or, it means you can use them at the same time simultaneously or separately. Now let's move to the form itself. First, we should pay attention to the title of the form. So it's moving to Benford city and you can expect and imagine conversation between a person that is moving to another city and agent that is going to provide information about this area. In the first question you see average rent and the sign of the pound. So you are required to write in a number here. So in the audio you will be given information about amount of the money that people usually pay per month. In the second question, we have Linda travels to work by, so it is going to be type of transportation. In the third question, you will be given limited in city center, so in the audio, one of the speakers will mention a problem in this area. And in the fourth one, trains to London every minute, so your expected number, again, that will define periods of the trains to London. And in the last question, poor train service at, so it is going to be time. Okay, let's move to the audio itself. Linda speaking. Oh, hi, Linda. This is Matt Brooks. Alex White gave me your number. He said you'd be able to give me some advice about moving to Banford. Yes, 
Alex did mention you. How can I help? Well, first of all, which area to live in? Well, I live in Dalton, which is a really nice suburb. Not too expensive, and there's a nice park. Sounds good. Do you know how much it would be to rent a two-bedroom flat there? Yeah, you should be able to get something reasonable for eight hundred and fifty pounds per month. So, as Linda mentioned it, he can get something reasonable for eight hundred fifty pounds per month. Let That's continue. what people typically pay. You certainly wouldn't want to pay more than nine hundred pounds. That doesn't include bills or anything. No, that sounds all right. I'll definitely have a look there. Are the transport links easy from where you live? Well, I'm very lucky. I work in the city centre, so I don't have to use public transport. I go by bike. Oh. Uh so, as Linda mentioned it. She doesn't use public transport, but she goes to the work by bike. So this is type of transport that she uses. Okay. Oh, I wish I could do that. Is it safe to cycle around the city? Yes, it's fine, and it keeps me fit. Anyway, driving to work in the city center would be a nightmare. Because there's hardly any parking. Okay, she mentioned one problem that they have in city center. This is shortage of parking areas. So limited parking area is actually a problem in this city. And as you are required to write one word, we will choose. Parking. Okay, let's continue. And the traffic during the rush hour can be bad. I'd be working from home, but I'd have to go to London one or two days a week. Oh, that's perfect. Getting to London is no problem. There's a fast train every thirty minutes. So, as she mentioned, that they have fast train every. Thirty minutes, which only takes forty-five minutes. That's good. Yeah, the train service isn't bad during the week, and they run quite late at night. It's weekends that are a problem. So, she mentioned they have problems at weekends. So these are the answers for these questions. So this is the script of the audio that we had in the form completion. So you can see here you should be able to get something reasonable for eight hundred fifty pounds per month. This is the answer for the question number one. For the question number two, she mentions that she goes by bike. And for the question number three, she said there is hardly any parking. And for the next question, there is a fast train every thirty minutes, which only takes forty-five minutes. And of course, you should be cautious because in the question we have to write the answer about period of trains, not the duration of the trip. So. In the next question, we have its weekends that are a problem. Okay. So this is a technique that you must be using at the end of every listening when you're practicing at home. These are the keywords that you will have in your booklet, and in the next column, you have. Words that are used in the audio. This is very nice strategy to enrich your vocabulary and get used to paraphrases of IELTS listening. 
as you can see a month is actually paraphrased in the audio as per month or simply limited parking is given as there is hardly any parking so let's move to the next practice so here you will have note completion and as you can see we have one word and or a number so we have the same word limits in this question moving to the note itself so here you can see full membership costs 260 dollars this covers cycling and one more facility all over australia and in the question number two we have cost of membership includes the club fee and one more item so in the question number three the club kit is made by a company called so you have to write a name of a company that makes these kits let's start hello south city cycling club oh hi um I want to find out about joining the club. Right, I can help you there. I'm the club secretary and my name's Jim Hunter. Oh, hi, Jim. So, are you interested in membership for yourself? That's right. Okay, well, there are basically two types of adult membership. If you're pretty serious about cycling, there's the full membership. That costs $260 and that covers you not just for ordinary cycling but also for races both here in the city and also in other parts of Australia right as Jim mentioned in the audio this money that you're paying for as a club fee covers not just ordinary cycling but also races here in the city and all over Australia well I'm not really up to that standard I was more interested in just joining a group to do some cycling in my free time sure that's why most people join so in that case you'd be better with the recreational membership that's $108 if you're over 19 and $95 if you're under I'm 25 okay it's paid quarterly and you can upgrade it later to the full membership if you want to of course now both types of membership include the club fee of twenty dollars mm -hmm. they also provide insurance in case you have an so the answer here is insurance so both types cover club fee and provide insurance so accident so we hope you won't need that, of course. No. Okay. Well, I'll go with the recreational membership, I think. And that allows me to join in the club activities and so on? That's right. And once you're a member of the club, you're also permitted to wear our kit when you're out cycling. It's green and white. Yes, I've seen cyclists wearing it. So can I buy that at the club? Uh, no, it's made to order by a company in Brisbane. You can find them online. They're called Jerry's. That's J-E-R-R-I-Z. You can use your membership number to put in an order. So, this is very important moment for many students. Whenever you hear a name and it seems to be difficult, you can expect speaker to spell this name and in this case they spelled the word Jerry's and of course you should know the difference between J and G which is one of the common mistakes in IELTS listening let's move to the rest of the conversation in the second half you can see here level b speed about so you are actually expected to write number here because it says kilometers 
per hour. So here, Tuesdays at 5.30, meet at the, so you should write location here. So meeting location on Tuesdays. And for Thursday, meeting location is the entrance to the, okay? This is going to be one more location. So let's hear. Order on their website. Okay. Now, can you tell me a bit about the rides I can do? Sure. So, we have training rides pretty well every morning, and they're a really good way of improving your cycling skills, as well as your general level of fitness. But they're different levels. Level A is pretty fast. You're looking at about 30 or 35 kilometers an hour. If you can do about 25 kilometers an hour, you'd probably be level B. So, as you heard in the audio, speaker mentions they have different levels. And for level A, they should be able to make 30 or 35 kilometers per hour. And for level B, 25 kilometers. And in our question, you're asked a number for level B. So it's going to be 25 kilometers per hour. And then level C are the novices who stay at about 15 kilometers per hour. Right. Well, I reckon I'd be level B. So when are the sessions for that level? Uh, there are a couple each week. They're both early morning sessions. There's one on Tuesdays, and for that one you meet at 5.30 a.m. And the meeting point's the stadium. Do you know where that is? Yes, it's quite near my home, in fact. So, as it was mentioned on Tuesdays, at 5.30 early morning session is at the stadium. Okay, and how about the other one? That's on Thursdays. It starts at the same time, but they meet at the main gate to the park. Is that the one just past the shopping mall? That's it. So, as speaker mentioned, the second one is near the main gate to the park. So, the word entrance has been paraphrased as gate. So, this is the script of the audio that we just had in the note completion. So these are the answers and you can go through them yourself. And of course, at the end of the listening, you must have table of synonyms. So as you can see, include insurance. So what is given in your booklet has been paraphrased as provide insurance. And moreover, the entrance as I mentioned before, was actually paraphrased as the main gate. Let's move to the next question type. This is table completion. And as you can see, we have the same instructions. So one word and or a number. What is good about table is that you can look through the title and clearly know what is expected from you. In the first column, you should write the name of the event. In the next one, this is going to be cost. The third one is going to be venue, so it's going to be location. And of course, the last one is notes, meaning that all the extra information about this event will be given at the end. So let's look at the first one. So this is jazz band and venue is going to be school. So what kind of school we will find out from the audio, either primary, secondary or high school. And of course, for the question number two, we have also appearing Carolyn Hart plays the, so this is going to be jazz band and this woman will play certain instrument and you are asked to write the name of this instrument either piano or guitar or something else let's listen to the audio 
Good morning, Stratton Festival box office. How can I help you? Oh, hello. My family and I are on holiday in the area, and we've seen some posters about the festival this week. Could you tell me about some of the events, please? Of course. First of all, are there still tickets available for the jazz band on Saturday? There are, but only fifteen pounds. The twelve pound seats have all been sold. Okay, and the venue is the school, isn't it? Yes, that's right. The secondary school. Make sure you don't go to the primary school by mistake. And there's an addition. So, as it was mentioned in the audio, speaker said this is secondary school, and make sure that you don't go to the primary school. Let's continue. Additional performer who isn't mentioned on the posters. Carolyn Hart is going to play with the band. Oh, I think I've heard her on the radio. Doesn't she play the oboe or flutes or something? Yes, the flute. So speakers mentioned that Carolyn Hart plays the flute. Let's move to the next part of the conversation. Let's go to the next part of the table and conversation. So here we have event, we have cost, here we have venue, and this one are notes. So the next event is duck races that costs one pound per duck and starts behind the so it is going to be location, so venue, of course, and here price, tickets for something held at the end of the festival. So here you should write an event, okay? And question number five, ducks can be bought in the, so here you should write again location, where people can buy ducks. And in the sixth one, we should write the location for the flower show that is going to be free for visitors. Let's listen to the audio. And the last one, sorry, prizes presented at 5 p.m. by a well-known, so famous. It is going to be either person or let's say, local authority. She usually plays with symphony orchestras, and apparently this is her first time with a jazz band. Well, I'd certainly like to hear her. Then the next thing I want to ask about is the duck races. I saw a poster beside a river. What are they exactly? Well, you buy a yellow plastic duck, or as many as you like, they're a pound each. And you write your name on each one. There'll be several races, depending on the number of ducks taking part. And John Stevens, a champion swimmer who lives locally, is going to start the races. All the ducks will be launched into the river at the back of the cinema. Then they'll float along the river for 500 meters. So, as it was mentioned, all the ducks will be launched at the back of the cinema. As far as the railway bridge. And are there any prizes? Yes. The first duck in each race to arrive at the finishing line wins its owner free tickets for the concert on the last night of the festival. You said you can buy a duck. I'm sure. So each winner duck is actually brings a free ticket to the concert to its owner. Oh, my children will both want one. They're on sale at a stall in the market. You can't miss it. it. So, as it was mentioned, they are on the sale in the market. So? It's got an enormous sign showing a couple of ducks. Okay, I'll go there this afternoon. I remember walking past there yesterday. Now, could you tell me something about the flower show, please? Well, admission is free, and the show is being held in Bythwaite Hall. Sorry, how do you spell that? B-Y-T-H-W-A-I-T-E 
W-A-I-T-E. Bythewaite. So this is Bythewaite Hall that was spelled by the speaker. Is it easy to find? I'm not very familiar with the town yet. Oh, you won't have any problem. It's right in the center of Stretton. It's the only old building in the town, so it's easy to recognize. I know it. I presume it's open all day. Yes, but if you'd like to see the prizes being awarded for the best flowers, you'll need to be there at five o'clock. The prizes are being given by a famous actor. By a famous actor. Let's move to the script of the audio. As you can see here, it is said that's right, the secondary school. Make sure you don't go to the primary school. And for the question number two, it says, yes, the flute. Okay, for the question number three, you can see here, all the ducks will be launched into the river at the back of the cinema. And for question number four, it says, the first duck in each race to arrive at the finishing line wins its owner free tickets for the concert on the last night of the festival. And the next one is they are on sale at a stall in the market. So location is market. And for the next question, as you can see, it is by Suede Hall. For the last question, the prizes are being given by a famous actor. Kevin Shapless. And of course, at the end of the listening, we have keywords table. So start behind has been paraphrased as launch it at the back. And ducks can be both is paraphrased as they are on sale. Next question type that you may have in your listening part one is short multiple choice. So these are the tips and strategies. First of all, you should carefully read instructions. And after this, you go through the questions and underline the keywords to understand what is being asked from you. Then you're highly recommended to go to the options, potential answers, and find out the difference between them. After this, you should think of synonyms and be ready for paraphrases. And next, based on the information given in the question, you can make educated guess. After this, when you're listening to the track, be sure to listen out for synonyms and paraphrases. Wait until you have listened to all options because all of them will be mentioned. The difficulty with this question type is that you should be listening for the gist, not just keywords. And of course, if you cannot answer a question, do not panic. Make an educated guess as quick as possible and move to the next question. Let's move to the practice itself. So, as you can see, instructions are choose the letter A, B, or C. Moving to the example, the caller wants to find out about events on 27th, 28th, and 29th of June. So, we should clarify the date here. Let's listen. Good morning, this is Burnham Tourist Office, Martin speaking. Oh, hello. I saw a poster about free things to do in the area and it said people should phone you for information. I'm coming to Burnham with my husband and two children for a few days on June the 27th or possibly the 28th and I'd like some ideas for things to do on the 29th. So, as speaker mentioned it, she is arriving with her husband and family on 27th or hopefully 28th and she wants to find out information about events on 29th of the June. Yes, of course. So, 
moving to the next part of the conversation so question number one is the family welcome event in the art gallery begins at 10 a.m 10 30 or 2 p.m so we should clarify the starting time of this event for the next question there is the film that is now shown in the family welcome event is about sculpture painting and ceramics so we should clarify what is the movie about next when do most of the free concerts take place so most this is the key word because judging by this word we can say that there are several times and we have to choose the one that is the most so in the morning lunch time and the evening let's listen okay then let's start with a couple of events especially for children the art gallery is holding an event called family welcome that day when there are activities and trails to use throughout the gallery that sounds interesting what time does it start the gallery opens at 10 and the family welcome event runs from 10 30 until two o'clock so as speaker mentioned gallery opens at 10 a.m and family welcome event starts at 10 30 and lasts up to 2 p.m so the answer is 10 30 because we have to identify the starting point the gallery stays open until five and several times during the day they're going to show a short film that the gallery has produced it demonstrates how ceramics are made and there'll be equipment and materials for children to have a go themselves last time they ran the event there was a film about painting which went down very well with the children and they're now working on one about sculpture i like the sound so answer for the question number two is c because speaker mentioned that film demonstrates how ceramics are made and the last movie was about paintings and the one they are working on now is going to be about sculptures and of that and what other events happen in burnham well do you all enjoy listening to music oh yes well there are several free concerts taking place at different times one or two in the morning the majority at lunchtime and a couple in the evening and they range from pop so as speaker mentioned there are one or two free concerts in the morning and majority of them are at the lunchtime and there are couple in the evening moving to the next part of the conversation we have where will the 4 p.m concert of latin american music take place so in a museum in a theater and in a library so technically there are several times and several locations so we are interested in the one that starts at 4 p.m next question the boat race begins at summer pool charlesworth bridge offered marina so we need starting point and the last question one of the boat race teams won a regional competition earlier this year so b has represented the region in a national competition and has won several regional competitions so difference between option a and c is that here we have the word several meaning that not just once so let's listen enjoy listening to music oh yes well there are several free concerts taking place at different times one or two in the morning the majority at lunchtime and a couple in the evening and they range from pop music to latin american the latin american could be fun what time is that it's being repeated several times in different places they're performing in the central library at one o'clock then at four it's in the city museum and in the evening at 7 30 there's a longer concert in the theater right so the answer for the question number four is a okay i'll suggest that to the rest of the family something else you might be interested in is the boat race along the river oh yes do tell me about that 
The race starts at Offord Marina to the north of Burnham and goes as far as Summer Pool. The best place to watch it from is Charlesworth Bridge, though that does get rather crowded. So, as it was mentioned by the speaker, the boat race starts at Offord Marina and goes as far as Summer Pool. And the best place to watch is Charlesworth Bridge. So, starting point is Offord Marina. And who's taking part? Well, local boat clubs, but the standard is very high. One of them came first in the West of England Regional Championship in May this year. It was the first time a team from Burnham has won. It means that next year, they'll be representing the region in the National Championship. So, the answer for the last question is A, because speaker mentioned that one of the teams has won regional competition in May of this year and is going to represent region in a national competition. So, not B. Let's move to the script of the audio. As you heard, here we have I'd like some ideas for things to do on the 29th. So, question number one is Family welcome event runs from 10.30, meaning that it starts at 10.30, up to 2 o'clock. Question number two, they are going to show a short film that the gallery has produced. It demonstrates how ceramics are made. So, next one is the majority at lunchtime. Here we have then at 4, it's in the city museum. So, the race starts at Offord Marina. One of them came first in the West of England Regional Championship in May this year. So, this is a table that you will have to make at home. So, as you can see, the film is about, has been paraphrased as it demonstrates. And finally, for home assignments, you should complete tests 1 to 40, part 1 only, from 40 listening practice books published by Thompson School. And of course, check your answers and prepare a keyword table for each test. Listen again and analyze your mistakes using the keyword table. And of course, translate and learn all the vocabulary from the script. This is the end of listening class number one. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.